Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to properly wear shorts. What's up guys? Welcome back to Gen Slime. I'm George. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now. It really, really helps us out. Today we are talking all about how to properly wear shorts. So today we're going to talk about how long your shorts should be, how tight your shorts should be, what shoes you should wear with shorts, and even where you should be wearing shorts. So before we get into this video, I want you guys to comment right now in the description below how many inches should be in between the bottom of your shorts and your knee. Like what is the maximum shortness for your shorts? I'm very curious to see before we get into this video and I'm curious if your opinion changes after this video. So up first on the list, how long should your shorts be? Now it's easy to give kind of a simple answer like three inches above the knee or four inches above the knee, but let's be honest guys, not all of us are the same exact height. So I've worked out a little ratio that you guys can do at home to figure out what is the shortest your shorts can ever be. So basically, if you take a tape measure or a ruler or anything like a tailor's tape like this, put it at the top of your hip and then measure down to the top of your knee. So I got 18 inches. So divide that 18 inches by two which would be nine, and then add two inches. So 11 inches is the shortest my shorts can ever be. So you're probably gonna show a lot of thigh, that's gonna be pretty, pretty short, but that is the maximum for me. Now if my thighs were longer, I could have a little longer shorts or a little shorter shorts because I would have more thigh. So that's the measurement and ratio I use to figure out how short my shorts can possibly be. But let's be honest, most of you probably aren't gonna wanna go that short, but I think we all can agree on that short should sit above the knee. So as long as you're one to five inches above the knee, you're pretty much in a safe space. Um, obviously, the more conservative you wanna be, the longer the shorts, the less conservative, the higher the shorts. And up next on the list, how tight should your shorts be? So, you know, you can go skin tight or you can go a little wider and a little baggier, but I really think you should keep everything proportional. So if you have a wide shirt and bigger shoes, you want kind of an average length, you want probably a good gap, your skin shouldn't feel like it's tight up against your shorts. Now, if you're wearing like a very slim fit polo or something or a t-shirt, um, you can definitely go with a tighter pair of shorts. But I would say if you're gonna go with tighter shorts, you should go a little higher above the knee because if it cinches like right at your knee, like you just cut off a pair of skinny jeans, it's gonna look a little weird. So the next thing to consider when you're trying to pull off a pair of shorts is what is going on up top. Now, I think there are three shirts that work perfect with a pair of shorts. One, polos, two, t-shirts, and three, just casual button downs, especially printed Hawaiian shirts because you know, shorts are casual, you wanna have a little fun with it. You don't wanna have dress shirt material, something that's too fancy up top because shorts are super casual and it's just not gonna look correct. So now that we've covered what's going on on the top of your outfit, let's figure out what kind of shoes we are wearing. So I think sneakers are an obvious choice for shorts, they are casual as well. Um, I love these from Koyo, the simple, clean, white sneaker look. Um, you can wear it with a t-shirt, you can wear it with a polo, you can wear it with this shirt right now. Literally works with everything. Um, if you wanna go more casual, you could do something like a Vans Authentic or something like that. But I do think it's best to keep your sneakers slim and low top for sure. And up next on the list for me is a loafer. So I have these woven loafers from Taft. I just got these in. These are beautiful, but you can go with a driving loafer or a tassel loafer. I think those would look great, especially with more dressed up options. So a button down shirt, um, a polo, you can definitely pull off something like this. It just kind of screams luxurious casual. Um, I wear these on vacation a lot. And obviously when you're on vacation, you just want to kind of chill out, let everything be a little bigger and flow nicely. And you want to be cool comfortable and happy because you're on vacation. And honestly, guys, you'd be perfectly fine with those two options, sneakers and loafers. But if you live in a place where you wear shorts quite often, you might want a few extra shoes to go with that. So I would suggest something like an espadrille. It just pretty much screams summer, casual, um, very easy to pull off and super slim and sleek. Or something like a boat shoe. These are a collaboration between Todd Snyder and Sabago. So these are awesome because they're like kind of like a textured white suede, which I mean is going to be perfect for summer as long as you can keep them clean. And last but not least, where should you be wearing shorts? So let's be honest, shorts are very, very casual. You honestly do not want to wear them to anything super formal or something that you're supposed to be dressed fancy for, but they work pretty much very well for any casual occasions. So that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, do that right now. It really, really helps us out. Leave us a comment down below on which outfit you thought was your favorite. And if you haven't followed us on Instagram over at Jenslange yet, give us a follow over there. Cheers, guys.